guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my finale for the 20 favorites in 2020 that was set up by Denise on Instagram from Just Some Makeup Hands and I'll have her linked down below. But if you're interested in seeing how I did, then just keep watching. Okay guys, I have finally, as you know, I've moved house. We have finally moved into the beauty room. So I don't have a background yet, but this should be my room for the foreseeable. So this is my first time filming here and I feel like you're really far away. So I don't know. So I'll only find out what this looks like when I'm editing. So fingers crossed it's okay. So this year for my project, I was working on 20 products as the title suggests, 20 favorites in 2020. Some people did this rolling style, but because I was doing another full face project pan, the team project pan, I decided to not do this rolling style, which meant that there were 20 products and I was just, if I finished one, that was it. So I finished 16 of the 20, one of which is new since the last update. So I actually have everything here. I personally prefer seeing all the empties in person, so I did keep them. So let's just show you the stuff that I finished this year and I'll let you know which has been since the last update. So the first product that I finished this year was my Champneys body lotion. This is the, the original Champneys Health and Spa, a little pick me up Citrus Blush Enlivening Body Lotion, 350 mils or 11.8 US fluid ounces. This is beautiful. I, I This definitely still is something I have not yet repurchased because I wanted to use up some of my Soap and Glory stuff, but I'm going to buy this again. I absolutely love it. The consistency is a lotion. It's not groundbreaking. It's the smell that I just really, really like, but I will buy that again. I, I, I have it written down on a note to buy it again because I love this. So that's item number one. Product number two um, is this Boom Boom Cream. This was a smaller size that I got. This was the first one I got. Park bought this for me in France in Sephora. It was my first ever Boom Boom experience. There was 75 mils in it or 2.5 US fluid ounces we're in this and it's all gone. I love the consistency. God, this still smells fully of Boom Boom Cream and it's empty for months. Like I finished this months ago. I absolutely love this. I since bought another one myself. I don't know what I'm going to do next year because all the websites I buy off uh, are from the UK and I don't want to be subject to customs. So now if anyone knows a European a website that's like Beauty Bay or Cult Beauty, will you let me know? Because I don't really know what I'm going to do. Item number three, like there is makeup in here, I'm just pulling the things. This is a perfume. So this is the Jenny Glow Wood Sage and Sea Salt. This is big, heavy packaging. How many mils are in this? There is 80 mils in it. This is a dupe of the Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. I think this is Polish, this brand, but you can get it in a lot of chemists or pharmacies uh, in Ireland. This smells exactly the same as the Jo Malone. I have three or four of Jenny Glow and I have the matching Jo Malone and all three of them are bang on exact, not even similar, just bang on. So these are like between, I'm gonna say between 12 and 16 euro, depending on where I buy this and you know how much Jo Malone is. So if you're curious about Jo Malone and this is accessible to you, it, it, it's the same. So I finished this whole bottle and I'm really happy about it. I have another one, so well, it smells exactly the same as the Woodside and Sea Salt, obviously. I have another one of those. Product number four, I finished this foundation from, uh, God, it's completely worn. This is the It Cosmetics CC Cream in the shade Fair. There's like 36 mils, or sorry, just, I don't know what's in it now because it's worn off, but I remember being like, oh, this is bigger than a normal one. I'm going to buy this again for, for absolute certainty. It's like a medium to full coverage, but in a nicer, it feels nicer than the, a matte one. Like this matte one here is like thick, whereas this one isn't as thick. It's like a nice formula. It, it had a more radiant luminous finish, even though I don't know if it says it is, but I remember I bought this because the sheer hype and then the first week of using it I was like oh what is the hype about this and then week two I was sold. Reason being is I had always worn full coverage of matte and this was like not but I love this and I will buy it again and I'm in the shade fair. I know at the time of me purchasing this there wasn't that many shades to choose from so at points of the year the fair was a bit dark 
but then overall I absolutely loved it. So I'll still buy the fair again, I'm just curious what the other shades are. Liquid lipstick, I finished this. Can you believe this? This is shocking to me that I finished a liquid lipstick. This is the NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Sandstorm, I believe. Yeah, Sandstorm. How many mils are in this? This was a moussey formula. It was completely different than anything I was used to. What? Uh, there is four mils in this. Four mils. Look at that. That's, that's nothing. And 0 0.13 fluid ounce. I took the stopper out of this as well. It's like a dark hole, a black hole in the abyss of nothingness down there. God knows. But it was a moussey brown. Um, I wonder, can you get anything? No. It's just kind of like... Ugh. It was a warm tone brown liquid lip. I did enjoy it. It was drying. I wouldn't bother getting it again simply because I just have a lot of at the moment. So I'm really happy it's finished and out of my collection. I finished another perfume. This is, is Aldi perfume in pomegranate and that's it all gone. It was only a small one, but it, oh, it's lovely. It smells exactly like pomegranate from, well, exactly. It smells quite similar to the pomegranate one from Joe Malone. So that's that gone as well. Concealer, this one literally was going the entire year. And what's funny about this concealer is, I had a lot of use out of this before this project, but this is the collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in Fair One. I can't even see how many mils are in this now, so I'm not quite sure because I've worn it off, but I really liked it. This was a medium, the stopper is out of this as well. This is a medium coverage um, concealer. Like I'm leaning really far in, I'm so sorry. I just don't know yet what I'm doing. But this concealer I will eventually buy again, I feel. But then part of me wants to try something else. It's just I really enjoyed this. So like if it's not broken, don't fix it. But at the same time, I'm like, I actually, I don't know. I enjoyed it, I'm glad I used it. I don't have that many concealers left in my collection, but concealer takes me a, such a long time to finish. This one here is Ola Henriksen Truth Serum. I love this. If I could find, I need to get a cheaper one of something like this, exactly like this, but that is cheaper because this is too expensive. This is the Ola Henriksen Truth Serum a Vitamin C line. This one was 15 mils. I love this. My skin like is oily, but then I'm going through a period of very, very dry forehead. Like I just, so what am I now? Combination oily, but when I put this on, everything just evens out. It's actually, it seems to be more effective instantly than moisturizer. Like as in something, I notice something happening immediately, which irritates me because I, it's so expensive, but I need to find something that is cheaper, but I do love it. And I'm glad that this project allowed me to use things that are favorites instead of always using things that are old. This next one that I finished is the Smashbox Contour Stick in the shade Contour. Oh, she gone. There's three sticks in a pack. This is now discontinued. This is a cool tone gray brown and I put it under here along my chin and sometimes on my forehead and I loved this. And if this were available, I would still, I would repurchase this. I have since now started trying to use um, lipstick, not today, but lipstick in there because you can get right in there. This is kind of expensive though as well, but I would I would buy it again. Frustrating, I want two cream contours. I want a flat pan and I want a pointy pan if I'm being very meticulous. Lip gloss, I finished, there's, this is a duo size. This is the Bourgeois and I chose this side here, which was a clear lip gloss. And I chose this not because Bourgeois was my favorite, but because Clear lip glosses are my favorite. So the stopper is out of this as well. Like I don't know why I showed it to you like that, but the stopper is gone out of this. So it's totally and utterly gone. I didn't, I enjoyed, I loved the color of this, but I absolutely hated the formula. It was so dry, but the color was beautiful. Blush. I finished a blush. It was the Tarte Extraordinary Blush. It was very, very similar to the Nars Orgasm. There it is there. This pan took me nearly two years, guys. Two years. And it's like a mini, a mini size. And what what cra what's crazy to me is I almost use that blush exclusively. And I see like a cat uh, from the Beauty News panning this entire palette. Like not this exact one, but this bizarre of a palette. And she got through so many. And like, 
I would have thought that I'm not that much fairer than her. And she said it was because hers aren't as pigmented, mine are very densely packed and pigmented. But I just don't know why it takes me so long to use it, you know. But I'm really happy it's gone. I actually really enjoy it. Towards the end I was sick of it. Because what when I got towards the end, like I, what I need to do is use, not just exclusively use my Project Pan blush. Because then I just get so sick of it. What I used to do was use my Project Plan, Plan blush during the work week and then not on the weekend. But... That's not obviously applicable right now. Another empty, oh no. So before I show you the empty from the last update, I'll show you the other, I had three products where I had a hit pan goal. No, sorry, four products that had a hit pan goal. So the first was for bronzer. My goal was to hit pan on this bronzer. I can't remember the number of uses, but it was over 70 or 80 it took for me to hit the pan. And I had use over this beforehand. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow. I don't know if you can see that there, but I hit pan. Yes, it is teeny teeny pan, but this whole pan from here over is really, really thin. Don't know if you can see that. So I feel like I would just expand it hugely, but I don't know. I wasn't working on the highlighter, but my, that was my goal for my bronzer. I'm kind of happy. What, what this taught me is that every year I would project pan an item to total completion. So if you were to look at my collection, you'd be like, oh my God, her collection looks totally unused because what I would do is use nothing else and project pan everything. What this taught me is, oh, I like looking into my drawer and seeing something look used. So that's something just to be mindful of now. Highlighter, my goal was to hit pan and this is the Huda Beauty Pink Sands Edition. I really enjoy this. I really enjoy this. I decluttered one of these because the colours were really just out there for me. Um, so this is it here. I was working on this with my Partners in Cream. I have, my Partners in Cream finale went up. I've still been using it. This shade, however, is the one I've been using. And I've kind of started using it again because I enjoy this pink shade mixed with the white on top, but also mixed with the gold. I just keep reaching back into it. It's not any, it's not a groundbreaking formula. And it's not like it does show some texture on the skin, but for some reason, I keep reaching into this. I love this. I really love this palette. Like, it'd take an awful lot to finish this palette, but I'm very curious, would I buy it again? Like, would I? I just seem to just love using it, you know? Over my singles, I keep reaching for it. Like, even now, and I pan that for the year to hit pan on it. I was getting sick of it, though. Like sick of it when I was like god come on hit pan whereas if I was more organic in the sense that I would be like if I did something like let's use this five times this month and then I would use it the five times then I'd play with other things but it wouldn't be five times exclusively so if I did something like that it probably would have been better so I would have enjoyed it more I had two single eyeshadows in here which nearly broke me because I have two like a billion pan that palettes this year so they're both makeup geek singles they're both duo chromes the first one was in the shade voltage my goal was to hit pan there it is i have pan hit and it's beautiful i use this shade on the lid and as a highlighter it is a like a greeny color i mean just ugh, it's so beautiful it's stunning i am so disappointed that she doesn't have these anymore because they're actually so nice they're so nice. So that's the shade Voltage. So it's like a nicer formula version of the, well, less green, I suppose, of the Electric from Subculture. This next single is also one of the uh, Makeup Geeks. It's called I'm Peachless. These pans have 1.8 1. 1. grams in it. I also use this one as a an eyelid shade and a highlighter because it had like a pink and gold shift. It's just... It's the middle finger. It's just so pretty. Like, look at this. It's really, it's a cool tone pink. There it is there. It's such a beautiful shade. Like I definitely, if you're like lacking in highlighters, go into your eyeshadow collection and just give it a go. It'd be very surprising in there what actually suits, you know? Cause I didn't have many individual highlighters. And, like I have a lot of highlighters coming from palettes, but I didn't have many individual ones at a point. And so, this is just really good to know that I can just dip into my singles or into my eyeshadows because I just get like a brain fart where it's like, oh, it's a highlighter, it's an eyeshadow and I don't think to multitask it, but I do now. So the item that I finished between the last update and this, I, this update, which is item number 16, and then I'll show you my four progress items. 
Ta-da! <laughs> it's my NARS powder, so it's finally finished. It's my NARS pressed powder. Translucent, look. Ugh. Translucent crystal is the shade. And the name of it is Light Reflecting Setting Powder Pressed. There's seven grams in it, or 0 0.24 ounces. This took me such a long time to use up. I normally go through face powders so quickly, but this one took me nearly eight or nine months. I would normally get through a powder, be, I don't know, three months? But that's that gone. It's so densely pressed. There is no kick up. It was dry. It wasn't like, it didn't, it left a bit of a glow to the skin, but not like um, an hourglass powder or a Laura Mercier powder, but I still, I really enjoyed it. This is so expensive. Like when I looked at my total empties for the year so far, both the figure and monetary, most of my collection is, with the exception of eyeshadows, is not expensive. Like is, is drugstore, I wouldn't, it's just not expensive. So you see the number of items I finished versus the monetary amount, it's insane. Like this was a big chunk of it and the foundation. But anyway, I finished this powder. I don't know, I don't know what I get it again. I, like, it's really nice, but like, when it gets to the end and you have to like take it out in the crumbly pieces, it's just such a pain in the neck because they just don't come up finely milled. Powder when it's pressed is finely milled. I really liked the Laura Mercier Candle Glow in the shade one. I know a lot of people say that's too dark from them that have similar skin tones to me. So I don't know why it's not for, it didn't seem to be for me, but I enjoyed the finish that that gave. So if I'm looking for an expensive powder, which I'm not right now, I might look at that one again. But uh, I'm just handy and not happy enough with my Rimmel one. Four items left. This one here is my primer that I've been using since January. Is it since January? I think it's since January, yeah. This thing is still down to here. Like, it's just not going. I It is a silicone primer. There's 30 mils in it or one fluid ounce. It's really expensive. It is a Smashbox primer, if I haven't mentioned. I quite like it, but I, I just... I don't mind because I didn't have that many primers that are like... Well, I had none in January. I don't know if you can see that, but it is... A silicone one and it feels really nice and it does you know smush out your pores however it magically does that it does do that it's just that well with the pandemic I wasn't really leaving the house and I'm not wasting it if I'm not going anywhere because this isn't old it is relatively new to my collection and I'm not wasting it if I'm not going anywhere to be quite honest with you so I will work on that again sorry I will work on that again next year probably but that's where that is. It didn't make too much progress in the year, but I don't really mind. Then we have lip products. This thing here is my Tarte Tartiest, Tarte Tartest liquid lip in Pillow Talk. And it's really like, just not gone. Like I just don't understand it. Like if you look in, you can see windows, but there's just, a, there's a lot of product in there. I think this will take me like two years to finish. How many mils are in this? It's rubbed off this packaging. There's six mils in this or zero point two zero fluid ounces. That's crazy that it's taken me so long to use this, but I suppose masks and stuff. But like for the first most of the year, I was only using this in the middle of my lip as like a halo lip with the, with the next product that I am going to mention and with that dark liquid lip that I finished previously. And then later in the year, then I started wearing it all over my mouth with a deeper lip liner. And I like this. It's drying. I have yet to find, I want to try, eventually in life, I'd like to try the Ofer lip, liquid lipstick because apparently people are saying it's comfortable. This is drying, but it is nice, but it's not as drying as the other ones. I tend to wear lip gloss over these anyway, but if you weren't wearing a lip gloss, it would be uncomfortable in my opinion. And I have a few there in really nice colors, but it's still going. Like there is windows in it if you swivel it, but it's still going. And I don't want to put this back into my collection because I want to use it all. I have two more products to share with you today. And the first one is my lip liner from MAC. And I went down a good bit throughout the year. This is in the shade Whirl. There it is there. So I went from here to here. This is the last update. I actually used a bit of it in the last update. So I'm really happy with that. So it's like this warm tone brown. Let me just have it on today. I have it on literally. No, no, I don't have it on today. I have it on literally all year. I prefer pencil 
lip liners, sharpenable ones. I prefer them entirely. I have the NYX ones as well. The NYX ones are a bit more creamy than this and I prefer less creamy. I don't want stiff, but I don't want creamy, creamy where it'll move. Then I have this ColourPop Liquid Lip, Liquid Lip Matte in the shade Girl Gang. And I went down a lot in the last month. Wait till you see this. I only rolled this in quite recently, but can you see this? Here it is here. There's like a huge chunk between this line and this line because I focused on it, which I should have done. But I was working on another lipstick, loads of lipstick. So there it is there, went down a lot. Like a lot in that last update. And something sad happened. Also, this lip product only came into my collection in January. It's just that I had two of them. Wait until you see what happened and not because I was bold. I never rolled this up fully and here it is up fully. It broke. I don't know how it broke because I don't roll it up funny, fully, but one day when I rolled it up, it was like the opposite way around and it started swiveling and so it came out. But I'm just going to keep working on it and see what I can do. And then when I get to the end, I probably will scoop it out. But that's my matte liquid lip in the shade Girl Gang. And I'm going to keep that out also because I just don't want to put it back into my collection. I have two, I have two of both, both of these I have duplicates of because this one was not my mistake. It was Colourpop sent me two of the same shade. This one is my own fault. I bought a backup like three years apart. I don't buy from the U or I didn't buy from the US often because of customs. I didn't want to pay customs charges and I was buying, I bought this with Tarte, that bundle that they do that makes things like less expensive. And then the three years later I said, you know what now I love this shade and I can see windows in the product. While I'm doing this, I might as well buy this again. <clears throat> Still not gone, it's insane. So I thought I was doing the right thing, but I was not. And I didn't know when I'd be ordering from Tarte again and I haven't ordered and when was that like? When was that? I don't know. But anyway, those are my products. I have 16 that have left my collection and four that are remaining. Well, not 16, I have 16 goals hit and four that I did not hit, which I really don't care about, to be honest, I'm happy enough. Thank you so much for watching. I feel kind of like a bit of relief having this filmed now, a bit of freedom for the rest of December. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.